I came across a you know, mutual friend of ours, Jim, Jeremy, Jeremy Coward, I'm sure. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. He, keep up with his work. So he started a movement called Hell Portrait. I remember and the that. The whole idea, you know, if, for, for those who are not aware, is to take a picture of someone who never had a picture taken or could never afford it, print it and give it to them. It's usually he would do those projects right, right around, you know, Christmas time. So you know, yeah. some family who never had a Christmas photo taken, that would be a perfect opportunity. And the movement kind of blew up, you know. It would yeah. be in literally 50 states, you know, 40 countries, just crazy people just getting together as far as photographers, you know, setting up studio sets and just bringing the people from whoever, you know, it's, it could be anyone. But, you know, a lot of those just, you know, families who, who could never afford those pictures. So I did one and I used to go to school in Fresno. So I did a project in Fresno and kind of blew my mind because we would have people who kind of reunited just for the photo, you know, yeah. just father and son who never had a picture taken in 20 years. So I'm like, this is incredible. And this is something which also helped me um, in the sense that when I started photography, I'm like, yeah, it's great. It makes me money. I kind of enjoy it. I'm like, there got to be a bigger purpose to that. If there is, if I am, hopefully I can call myself gifted in a sense of creativity and photography, I want to use also that talent to give back, you know, to help someone around. So, and that one was an uh, outlet for me to figure out, okay, this is, this is the venue I can use to help someone. Once again, I'm not, I'm not saving, you know, people from cancer, but at least I can do something which they, they cannot afford. And I'll, I'll, I'll do as a gift. I'll do it as a, something which, which I can help people with. So that led me to projects just all, all around the world. And that, that Help Portrait project brought me to the, uh, that area in, in Russia. My friend actually was a missionary there. And he was always telling me, hey, you should come and just, just explore the landscape. It's, it's, a, it's a crazy, crazy part of the world. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll get great photographs. And when I got introduced with Hell Porch, I'm like, okay, now I actually have a, a meaning to go there, you know, not just take a landscape po portraits, but also, you know, maybe uh, do some meaningful photographs. And the sad part about that area is that it's, it, I think it's whole Europe, Europe and Asia. It's the, the, the era with the most social orphans uh, in Eurasia, meaning- Oh, that's when, crazy. Whoever don't know what social orphan is, is that uh, kids, they have technically parents, but they don't have them for years sometimes. And the reason for that is people are drinking so much there. Sometimes they just abandon their kids and just drink for half a year, a year, year and a half. That's you know, crazy. just crazy stuff. So we would go to those, you know hospitals and kindergartens and the kids are just abandoned. They have parents, but they haven't seen them for months and sometimes years. So that's kind of the focus we, we did. And um, I still have those photos somewhere, but we did a lot of just those help portrait projects for those kids. You know, someone who who been in the hospital for for quite some time on the kindergarten, but they haven't seen them either. Like, you know, we would sometimes actually get those parents come in and you know, do the photographs with the kids. And the reindeer hers tribe, it was probably the craziest adventure I did in my life because the temperature on average there, we went there in December first time and an average the temperature would be minus 40. Oh, wow. Minus 40, minus 50. And it's yeah. humid. So meaning like it feels like it chills you to the bones. So we ended up driving on SUV to the closest village possible from the capital. And from there, 11 hours in the snowmobile. And so it's open Jeez. air, min minus 50 outside, plus some wind. So it gets cold. On a snowmobile. Uh, Holy crap. Yeah. So we, that's how we got to that tribe. And once again, I'm, uh, uh, when, when it comes to photography, I don't want to be that guy who gets me a face and want to take a picture and then post on that website. So yeah. with this, with this tribe, I'm like, Hey, you know what? I'll just be around these people for, for a day or two and just would love, I just want to learn about them. First of all, 
Sure. So that's what we did for two days. We literally slept with them in the same tent, went to check on the deers, went prepared the food, drank tea, and it just, just did the life together. And I came with an idea and said, hey, I'll, I, I don't want to just take a picture of you to have it for me. Actually, I want to give a picture to you. So yeah. they didn't really grasp it. I'm like, wait, what? Like, we haven't really had any picture taken, but why would he give you? Why would you give us a picture? I'm like, yeah. once again, maybe if you want to send it to your family, I can take it. You know, because you guys are, you know, 11 hours from the civilization. But um, and they became very much um, open to this idea, whereby in two days they were actually asking me, "Hey, can we go there and take a picture? Can we go there and take a picture?" You know. That's very so excited cool. about it and i had a, usually have a printer with me a very portable small printer so i had pictures printed to them you know right on the spot so that was also a very an awe moment for them because some of them had never had a picture taken period yeah. you know so but yeah the, the, and that's kind of the opened uh venue for me to do more of those projects you know and uh let more of a not just I want to come and take a picture of someone who never had a picture taken, which I think it's an amazing concept which Jeremy created. But also go back and figure, okay, is there like a humanitarian issue we can show through these pictures and this story and this um, photographs, which might help these people? And that's um, when the whole avenue of humanitarian stuff opened for me, whereby I started traveling to you know, I traveled to Haiti at this point, I don't know, probably seven times, you know, the first time right after the earthquake. Yeah. So you know, did a story on this orphanage, which needed to be relocated because it was, it was damaged, you know, came back, raised some money, you know, sent to the nonprofit, went to, you know, Philippines right after the, you know, typhoon did the same thing, you know, showed the devastation of the typhoon and all the, you know, uh, damage with the country and the people, you know, occurred and then brought it back through fundraiser. Uh, remember, it was in Sacramento, also raised, you know, some money, sent it back. We rebuilt the homes, we rebuilt the, you know, community centers, you know, help people start their small businesses, whatever they lost. So that's kind of the avenue, um, I think, which I enjoyed the most. And I still, that, that's the avenue I'm not willing to give up at this point. You know, I can give up photography, I can give up commercial work. But I don't think I'm ready to give up this avenue yet.